Hello, my Matty Baboon. If you are like me during your first Valheim game, you went straight to eight tier the first boss like a Muppet, without any kind of preparation, died miserably, and wondered what on earth are you supposed to do to kill this boss. Well, that's alright, I got you covered, because today, I will show you exactly that. What do you need to prepare and how to fight to easily kill Egtire, the first boss of Valheim? Let's get started. Let's talk a moment about Egtire and what would be the best strategy to kill him. This boss has a lot of HP, has two lining attack, one being a bolt range attack and the other being an AoE explosion. And he also has a melee attack when he tries to empower you with his antlers. You can come well prepared with leather armor and a shield, but the easiest way is to use range attack using a bow. That way we can kite him, control the distance, and only his bolt attack can get us. I know what you are going to say. We are baboons, we are strong, we don't need no range attack. Well, we might be strong, but we can also be smart baboon. Don't you agree? Now that we know how we are going to approach this battle, what we need to prepare becomes clearer. I am going to assume that you already have a workbench with a chopping block already in place. If you don't, you can have a look at my previous video, Valheim, the first 15 minutes step by step, link will be in the description. The first thing we will need is a crude bow and arrows. To craft a bow and arrows, you will need to get some plank of wood and leather scraps. You can easily get leather scraps from killing boars. And having a bow will make deer hunting much easier. When you hunt deer, make sure that you walk against the wind that will prevent the deer to sniff or baboon smell and will let us approach closer to them. Going deer hunting will get you three useful things. Deer meat, deer hide, and deer trophy. You will need meat for this fight anyway, and if you get enough deer hides, you will be able to craft a few leather pieces of armor. It's in no way necessary, but it will just make the fight easier. Finally, the main reason why we are deer hunting is to get deer trophies as we will need two to summon the boss. Continue to craft until you have a bow, at least 40 arrows, and have an assortment of deer, boar, and neck meat. Optionally, you will also want to have some fire arrows. It is not required, but it will make your life easier. To have access to this recipe, you will need to have a chopping block. And you will also need to have some resin and feathers in addition to a few planks of wood. You can get resin easily from grayling or chopping down trees. And to get feathers, you can hunt birds with a bow, or sometimes by chopping down a tree, if there is a bird in the tree, some feathers will also fall down. Okay, looks like we are ready. Let's eat a neck tail and deer meat in order to have a lot of HP and stamina. Let's equip the fire arrows by doing a right click on them. And then we are going to put our deer trophies in our shortcut bar and summon the boss. As soon as we put the trophies, the sky is turning dark and egg tire is going to appear somewhere around us. And don't be afraid, Mamati baboons, we are going to be fine. And here is far away at the back. We take our bow and start shooting at him. Here come the lightning bolt. I don't know how, but we were lucky and avoided it. We are going to run a little as he is too close to me for me to be comfortable. We are going to keep our distance through to the battle. It's going to be a long battle, so we need to be patient. This is a lightning AOE. We took some damage, but we were far away, so that was not too bad. Now he's charging us and he's trying to impale us with his antlers. Relax, take it easy. Taking him down is going to take a long time, but we have all the time in the world. As you can see, the advantage of the fire arrows is that they not only do more damage than the simple arrows, but they also set the enemies on fire and inflict damage over time. A good tactic is also to stay in an area with a lot of trees, this will hinder the boss movements. And be mindful about the fact that there might still be other enemies around during the battle. As you can see here, there was a grayling. Aggroing several enemies can put you in a situation where the boss is ready to eat you like a fresh banana. And we don't want to be a banana, we want to eat banana. of a gorilla. At 
that point we do not have fire arrows anymore but that's okay we can just use normal arrows to kill the boss and it will just take a little more time but we are not in a hurry anyway during the battle try to keep your distance be mindful about your stamina and health and take your time if you are patient the boss should not be a problem at all That's it, we got him. Let's go pay our respect to Egg Tire. Egg Tire, you fought valiantly. May you rest in peace. Now that we have killed the boss, let's pick the trophy, the antler, and the antler pickaxe. We can directly place the trophy on one of these stones in order to pick up Egg Tire for second pour. Activate the pour. And now, every time we press F, we are going to be able to sprint and jump using less stamina for 5 minutes. The antler pickaxe will let us harvest stone and copper and tin, and this will open up a lot of new possibilities for us. And that's it for today. We were able to defeat the boss quite easily, and if everything goes well in your game, you should be able to prepare everything and defeat him during day 2 or 3. I hope you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss more Valheim content. In the next video, I am going to show you how to build the perfect early base, because let's be honest, the base we currently have is horrendous and needs to be improved. See ya!